morning everybody yeah i just woke up if you can tell from my voice in sunday's video i asked if you guys wanted more fitness vlogs and everyone said yes which i was really really happy about because i am very excited to share um, what i eat with you guys and how i work out and just really how amazing fitness can change your life and i kind of want to have a theme for each day as um i vlog so i don't know what today's theme is I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing today. I have a spin class and bar class tonight, but I do want to work out a little bit before, and I'm also going to grocery shop today. I have a few things to do around the house, but I'm going to show you guys just my day and pretty much everything that I do. So I need to go food shopping. Um, I do all my produce shopping on Thursdays because that's when the food, um, what's that word called? It's when the um, farmer's market opens. It's on Thursdays and Thursday through Sunday, so I don't have it every day of the week. So I am going to juice. The juicer I have, I don't know what it's called. I got it at Staples, though. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm going to grocery shop a little bit today. I normally get my food and my produce, like, all on Thursdays. But um, there's a few things that I'm out of that I really want to eat. So I'm going to go get them today. All right, so this is, like, my favorite juice ever to make. I think it tastes really yum. So first thing is two oranges. I like my juices really sweet. I don't really care if they're like healthy or anything. All right, so two oranges, one lemon. My juicer is pretty small, so I kind of have to juice it in segments. So let's juice what I have in here. So far I have the lemon and two oranges. <laughs> All right, so now we're back over here. Now I add in two apples. I just put them in like this, even though the seeds are in, it still works. And then the very last thing, carrots. I love carrots in my juice. I normally add however many I'm feeling. Today I'll probably add like three or four. So this is what it looks like right now. I've, if you guys juice, you guys know that a lot of foam comes up. So I just sort of let this separate and like do a thing for a little bit. While that does that, I clean this and then I have some dishes left over from yesterday that I'm going to do and I clean all this up. Once that's all done, then this is pretty much like separated and then I can pour it into my thing. Then you're left with all this good juice. So I like juice much more than coffee in the morning. The last time I had coffee in the morning was, um, I don't know, I can't remember, like maybe two or three months ago. Um, I rarely, really do it, and whenever I do do it, it's very, like, weird of me to do, and it's almost like a treat because I never do it, and honestly, coffee doesn't wake me up. The only thing that wakes me up is, like, um, espressos. Is that even how you say it? Or is it espresso? I don't know. Like, espressos or whatever. Um, so I rarely get coffee. They don't really do anything for me, but juice does so much more for me because it is so high in fiber and high in sugar that when it hits my metabolism and my digestive system, it just shocks it and it's like, oh, hello, good morning, I'm awake. And it just gives me so much energy because it's pretty much just sugar and fiber from fruit. So I'm getting all of that and it's just sort of like a wake up call for me. So um, I love juicing in the morning, especially on my mornings where I teach 545 spin. I make a juice before I go because it really wakes me up way more than coffee um, and it's natural. It is a beautiful, beautiful day outside. So I really want to get outside. Fruit fly, got it. <laughs> so since it is such a beautiful day outside, I want to get outside and I mean, I would work out outside, but I don't really have anywhere to work out outside. I'm freezing up some bananas for my smoothie bowl later because I forgot to do this last night so I guess it works out that I'm not eating before I go to work out. So I'm freezing bananas and blueberries. Alright so this is what I'm wearing to the gym. Um, honestly it took me like 20 minutes to get dressed for the gym because whenever I work out I normally am just going to like uh, the studio or something so I don't really have to like put a full outfit together. Normally I just wear leggings and a sports bra so it's like 
I don't know. And I never wear sneakers. And I don't know. I don't like sneakers. I think that they look really gross on me. So I never wear them. Um, and I just, ugh, I don't know. I can't stand sneakers. So I don't like them on my feet. I don't know. Wearing shirt and sneakers is super weird for me. So it took me so long to get ready. But this is from Lulu. My sports bra is Victoria's Secret. And the back is like really cute. You can't really tell, but it has like... Oops, all this like detailing, which is cute. So that's Victoria's Secret. My friend Kat got that for me for my birthday. These pants are Lulu, and then my sneakers are Nike. So you can't really hear what I'm saying in this clip, but pretty much I'm in the sauna and I'm saying that I hate going to the gym. It's so awkward and I just don't like it. I never feel motivated at the gym. So I dipped out early on my workout and I said I'm just going to finish it at home um, because honestly, I hate the gym. So I hope I'm not alone on this. It's just the worst ever. So here I am just saunaing. Right now, I'm at like this local grocery market that serves um, like smoothies and stuff, and I'm gonna grab like the few things that I need to grocery shop today. All right, so it's 1:16 p.m. and I am starving for some uh, lunch-ish thing. So I'm gonna make an acai bowl. It's like perfect weather for an acai bowl. I can't not make one. Ugh, I'm so hungry. First, I'm gonna put. The frozen bananas in. Four of them in. All the frozen blueberries. And then of course, acai. I think I'm gonna add half of one more. Then I add a little bit of my own stuff. So this is vegan protein powder. Vanilla, just add in like half a scoop of that, just for some protein. Some agave to make it sweet. A dash of vanilla, maybe a little more than a dash, whatever. Some almond milk. And some spinach. Well, no. Can't really fit much else in there. But mm, I cannot wait. Okay, looks blended enough to me. Yay, moving on. Yum, oh my God, this is literally gonna be amazing. Here's what I add. Add whatever you guys want, obviously, but this is what I do. So this granola is my favorite, Love Crunch. Technically, it's not vegan because it has honey in it, but I eat honey, so it's okay with me. Next up is coconut flakes. I love coconut, but this is totally optional and dependent on if you like coconut or not. I'm gonna put some of that on there. All right, then I normally add in some fruit. I'm kind of thinking bananas today, so I'm gonna add in bananas. Last but not least, a little bit of agave. Yummy. And there you have it. I'm always so cold after eating a smoothie bowl. I literally have to like wrap myself up in a blanket to not be like freezing cold. So I have a few work things to do, so I'm just going to write a few emails, reply to comments, all that good jazz, and then I'll show you what's next. It looks so different. It's really not that drastic of a difference. I don't think so anyway, but whatever. Um, normally, I have spin every night, um, except Wednesday nights. I don't have spin, but every other night, I normally work out at night. So I like to have my dinner made before I go because then I can just come home and heat it up and eat it because I find that if I don't make dinner before, I'll literally just pull out like random food and snack. Also, I'll have like frozen waffles or something like not very good. So I like to do this before I go. So I don't have as much rice as I thought that I did. So that kind of sucks, but it's whatever. 
whatever. So first, we're just gonna make what I have left for the rest. I wish I would've checked before I went to the store. That was my fault, stupid me. So it gave me about um, a cup or so of rice, so I'm just going to cook whatever I have left, and then next time I go to the store, probably on Thursday, I'm just gonna pick up some more rice. But our rice cooker is seriously life. My ex-boyfriend's mom gave this to me when they were like moving houses, and it's been the best thing ever. You seriously just turn it on, hit cook, and then it turns off when it's done, and uh, yeah, that's how you make your rice. It's the best ever. Now I'm going to roast some veggies. So for my veggies, I put the oven at 475 and then I pull out whatever my favorite veggies to roast are. So I like big carrots, sweet potatoes, a head of broccoli, mm, yummy, can of chickpeas. All right, so I just uh, chopped up some sweet potatoes, carrots, broccoli and I put in a can of chickpeas. This is seriously like one of my top five favorite foods. Like I love roasted veggies. So I have a little bit of olive oil left so I'm just gonna use the remainder of that. This garlic and sea salt, love it. And I also take a little bit of regular salt. All right, but first I take the olive oil and just drizzle it across the veggies. Then I take the regular salt just sprinkle that over top of them. Then I go in with the garlic and sea salt. And you just take whatever this thing is called, spatula, I don't even know. And just mix it all together. Then pop it in the oven. Then it goes in the oven for 15 minutes. And then halfway through, you're gonna take it out and turn them. Okay, while that cooks, I'm going to make my spin playlist for tomorrow. I'm teaching at noon. I'm a pull up in the IA. Won't it say goodbye 
Veggies are done. So the veggies and the rice are both done. Let the rice stand warm, and then I'm just going to put it in a Tupperware container in a little bit, um, just letting it cool down. But I'm just going to continue to work on my playlist. I'm leaving for class in like an hour and a half, so I don't know if I'll eat before or not. I'm not that hungry. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so I am headed to spin. This is what I'm wearing. Um, same thing as earlier today. The only difference is if it's so dark. Why is it so dark? Alright, well, it's really dark. Well, whatever. This is my outfit. Hi guys, so it's the next day. Um, I didn't finish last night's vlog because my, wow, my face and my neck are really something else today. But um, I was on my way to spin last night and I got a call from my dad that my grandpa was in the hospital. Um, he had a heart attack, so um, I wasn't like in the mindset at all to be filming spin or anything like that. And then um, I was gonna do bar right after, but I called after class to see how my grandpa was. And it turned out that he um, passed away from his heart attack yesterday. So I went to the hospital right after class and I um, was with him and then I was with my family. So it was, um, I wasn't really thinking about vlogging or anything. So I hope you guys can understand. Um, it was like a very fluke accident. My grandpa was very, very, very healthy and he was like 80 something and he was like playing golf and I don't know, he was very healthy. He was not sick or anything. So it was really just like a fluke accident and it really took our whole family by surprise. So I didn't finish vlogging last night, but you guys saw a pretty good amount of my day. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want more of these. Um, and also, if you guys have any recipes or anything that you guys really want to see, um, leave that in the comments as well. And I will try my best to make it or do it or anything like that. So, love you guys. Have a great day. And go tell your family member that you love them. Bye. Please like. Share. Subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when I upload a video. And also, we are giving away free ebook to our first 10,000 subscribers. Please click the link below on the description box.